Welcome to Electron Line. Now that we have our hands around a few of the basic trigonometric identities, now we're going to start with some examples where you have to simplify expressions or prove trigonometric identities um, by using the relationship that you've learned so far between the trigonometric functions. So starting with something like this, how do you simplify that? Now later on, there'll be some more complicated type of exercises like this. As we learn more and more identities, they'll require you to use those more complicated identities later on. But now we we'll start with simply with the easier ones right here. So typically what you do when you get something like this and they ask you to simplify it is to then rewrite something like the secant of x and the tangent of x into their equivalents. For example, the secant of x can be written as 1 over the cosine of x minus the cosine of x and the tangent of x can be written as the sine of x divided by the cosine of x. And now we have kind of like a what we call a complicated fraction. How do we simplify that? Well notice that in the numerator we have a fraction that has cosine in the denominator. In the denominator we have a fraction that has cosine in the denominator. So one way to simplify that would be to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the cosine of x. So we'll do that times the cosine of x divided by the cosine of x. That's a, an algebraic trick. So when we multiply this times this, we get cosine of x divided by cosine of x, which is 1, minus the cosine uh, square of x divided by, and when you multiply this times this, the cosine of x cancels out, so you end up with the sine of x. Now you have to remember another identity. Remember that the sine square of x plus the cosine square of x equals to 1, so then if you bring this to the other side, you then have the sine square of x equals 1 minus the cosine square of x. So 1 minus the cosine square of x can be written as the sine square of x, which we will do up there. So this can be written as the sine square of x divided by the sine of x. And of course, this divides into that, and we simply end up with the sine of x, which is a simplified form of this original expression. And so that's how we use these basic identities to simplify trigonometric ex expressions.